today we're going to unbox and review the Sony HT MT300. It proves once and for all that size does not matter. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? This is Herbie from Herbie's World, showing you that IT means I try. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel, we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and tech reviews of great products just like this one. So anything we discuss in this episode, you'll find right on the bottom right over here. So let's go check out the HT MT300 the mini soundbar home theater system with a big boom. Let's let the unboxing begin. Now, if you guys have seen, I've been on a mission lately to up my game in the bedroom, quote unquote, for my home theater system. So I opted to get a movie projector in the bedroom, but I'm using now the Sony SRS ZR7, which is good, which is great for music, but I wanted something full and robust for movie playing. So I have a big bulky system in the living room, which is the HT MT5. It's a great, great, great soundbar, but I didn't want anything that big into the bedroom. Okay, first off, we have, this is the sound bar. Let's crack this puppy open. It's got a lot of bang for the buck and the space. So this is a full-fledged home theater sound bar. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Now I'm gonna take a comparison of the Sony that I have for the 70 inch in the living room. Let's put this to the side and then you can compare the size. So we have startup guide right here. Okay. This is the subwoofer. So let's grab our trusty Smith & Wesson knife. Kids, be very, very careful with knives. Their sole purpose is to cut. Okay, let's take a look. A lot of styrofoam. Now it's wrapped in a beautiful leather case. And what's cool about this is this. You can lay this anywhere. You can lay it in any position. You can lay this horizontally, but it has a couch mode, which means you can slip this under and it will vibrate up for a great sound. So this, once again, is the Sony. Now you'll notice that there's no display, but it's great to touch. The craftsmanship is awesome. This is great. Of course, our five watts. Now it has, this is a 2.1 channel bar and subwoofer. It's ultra compact for easy placement. It has a low profile bar with a clean design, which you can see. Now, look at this sound. Look at this woofer. It has a slim subwoofer that can be hidden under a couch, which is great. Now, the sound bar has 15 watt times two amplification and has two full range drivers. Now, of course, you can pair it with your phone with Bluetooth. It does 
wireless playback, it's compatible with smartphones, tablets, music players, it has built-in Dolby sound decoding, which is great. And you can also use control for specifics. It has a night mode, which means if you hit night mode, it will lower the booms and concentrate on the voice to amplify it for you so you can hear it nice and clear. That is great. Now, it weighs about 3.1 pounds. This, is, this puppy is light. Now, the subwoofer, it has a 50 watt peak built-in amplifier and it has a front firing four and three quarter cone woofer inside and it will wirelessly, wirelessly sync to the sound bar. Okay, there is also a power cable, power plug, this is a 19.5 volt, we have a remote and we have an audio cable that goes in. So let's go check it out in the bedroom. Okay guys, so I placed my HT-M3 300 on top of the regular sound bar that's in front of the TV. Now look at the size comparison of this thing. It's at least, it's actually twice as small, which is great. Um, but this is going to be a great minimalistic look in the bedroom. So let me show you the subwoofer. Now if you take a look as well, the subwoofer is actually half the size of the regular one. That is crazy. Look at that. That is great innovation. That's pushing the envelope forward and once again showing that size does not matter. Let's go check out the bedroom. Okay guys, welcome once again to my bedroom. So first thing you're going to notice is I'm using the shade to project my, to act like it's a movie theater. Now, I got rid of the table over there, the TV, the other sound bar, which is my Sony PlayStation TV. And I put in a cubicle styled storage station that will store our phones at night, a couple plants. We can put the sound bar actually either under the bed, but I think I'm gonna lay it right over here, right under there. And it's nice and neat. That cubby section right there cost me $12. You can expand it. It's great for shoes in the closet, but I have this space here behind here and I didn't know what to do with it. So I made it a storage area that you can't see when you go past the bed, which is great. So let us put this puppy together and we'll check out and see how it's not. Back in a sec. Okay, so let's take a look. So this is a very simple setup. Now, what I'm going to do is to replace my SRS ZR7. That's here. I mean, it sounded good, but it was a little too bassy for me. Um, it's great for music. As far as home theater, it's good for that, but I wanted a higher level of sound. And if I'm about to go to sleep, if these baby browns are gonna go to sleep, I want to have the best viewing possible and the best sound that I can get. And here's the funny part. This thing here is highly affordable. It only costs 249 bucks. But since I buy a lot of things from Best Buy, I had uh, $75 off because I purchased a lot of things from them. So remote is good, plug is good. Now, we're going to put this audio cable in the back and basically you just paste it up right here. It can only go one way, simple as that. Now you have HDMI, you have input. So this goes, it's very simple setup. Right over here and then audio in, analog there. So let's Go back there and fix that. And we'll make this all pretty. Okay guys, so 
this thing's all set up. It's usually it's literally one button. You pop it in. You pick your device. You have TV. You got Bluetooth. You got USB. You got analog. You have movie watching and music. So you can pick it directly from the device right over here. If you have an Android device, you can use NFC right over here. And that will do it. So let us hear how it sounds. It's clear. It's so cold. Jesus, freaking wind open. Sounds great. Oh my god. You can feel the subwoofer. <sighs> It's actually perfect placement for it. So um, let's try night mode. Look at that. So it just killed the subwoofer. Hear that? Let's try it again. And when you hit voice, it just oh, does voice. Great. Oh, great. Someday, it's going to be as cold as your Okay, so now let me show you the full package together so you can uh, see what we got going on in the bedroom. That came out wrong. I'm sorry. That came out really wrong. Honey, yeah. don't watch this video. Bad joke. Okay, so let us go up and let's turn off the lights. Okay, guys. So, welcome. Jeez. Sounds great. Hello, Chuck. Yeah, it's me. I can't get hot. Temperature can't get me hot again. Okay. Okay, okay, I'll see you when you come here. Alright, bye. So, tell me guys, what do you think? Hey, that guy, I know that guy. That guy looks familiar. I think he owes me money. So, that'll do it for this episode. So we have the perfect combination of visual and sound. So, I don't know, I'm a perfectionist, but here's the thing. In my life, I try to make the things I can make better, better. Sometimes it's like, acid in my brain and I have an idea and I have to follow through with it so but it's good and bad good good for you guys bad for my wallet but it's all good so we have the perfect stereo sound movie sound there in a minimalistic look so let's take a quick peek really fast look if you looked over there, you wouldn't be able to tell that there's a sound bar there, which is great. Fits in. Now I'll put links to the cubby. Um, the plants stay with us. But that should do it for this episode. Now, the ML750, which is right there, cost about $400. And I still would like to have the ability not to use this because I want to see the sun and I'd like to see outside so I'm going to get a from the floor rise movie screen about 100 inch to be perfect because this diffuses the image just a little bit the lumens in the projector is good but that is for another episode so do me a favor smash that like button slam that subscribe button and I will catch you guys I usually say in the next one, but I'm gonna say, catch you guys at the movies. Honey, 
in this movie theater. You can't eat popcorn in the bed. She says, okay, she'll do it anyway. Peace.